you star code Brambi. Hey everyone, so Christmas has just gone by and a lot of you have gotten Robux or at least saved up Robux from the previous year. So if you got some Robux to spend and you want to spend it on Bloxburg, look no further than this video. So in today's video, we'll go over the most and least important things on what to buy on Bloxburg. Some things are really useless, some things are really useful and I wanted to make a little guide for 2022 so that it's easier for you to decide what you want to spend your Robux on. So I'm going to start from least favorable to most favorable to get and this is really a biased video because this is my opinion and my opinion only so if you don't agree that is completely fine you don't need to attack anyone for that this is purely my opinion and what i would do if i only got so many robux to spend so let's get right into the video that was a long intro <laughs> so starting from the least favorable what i would not recommend is that you buy the unlocked stereo it is 400 robux and it's really expensive and you can barely do anything with it so this this game pass basically allows you to play custom songs on the radio however most songs are blocked by roblox so most songs are copyrighted so just go on youtube honestly and uh, listen to some music or Spotify or Apple Music, not this. <laughs> then staying in the Game Pass department, I actually would not recommend you buy premium. If you only have a little Robux to spend, yes, you get double daily rewards and yes, you get a special name tag. But other than that, it is not worth 400 Robux compared to other Game Passes that are in the game. So only buy it if you really want it, but in my opinion, it's not really worth 400 Robux just for double rewards, half bills. Like if your bills are $2,000 and you have to pay $1,000, that's not so much of a difference. Then moving on, we go to normal money. Now, normal money is a tricky one. I usually do not recommend people to buy normal money. For example, this is 700 Robux for $50,000. However, if you're only here to role play, then $50,000 can get you quite far. You can actually build a house that isn't too detailed with two, three bedrooms. So it really depends on what game you want to play or how you want to play it at least. But usually I do not recommend buying normal money because making money is pretty easy in Bloxburg. I think if you work for an hour in pizza delivery, you can easily get to $50,000 if you try your best or at least $40,000 if you're a low level. So if I work an hour in pizza delivery, my level is 39. I make $150,000. I do have the excellent employee game pass, but still. So it's not that hard to make money. If you just say to yourself, okay, I'm going to work one hour straight no breaks and then build a house you're pretty good if you cannot wait go buy some money but i usually do not recommend spending your robux on that then we go to like the mill category which is like it's good to have but it's optional and with that i mean for example the large plot game pass so again as a lot of you know going into build mode you have those lines on your plot oh did, did they actually disappear there used to be a thicker line that showed where the 30 by 30 plot was i do not see it right now however a 30 by 30 plot is still really doing I think it's something like this that you get so only buy that if you want to have a larger plot if you want to have a very big backyard or a big mansion but for normal houses with a small backyard the normal plots are really enough to build whatever you want like the large plot is only for people who build really large plots so if you're not into that, save your 250 Robux and don't buy this. Then same thing with the Basements Game Pass. However, this one I recommend a little bit more because it is only 100 Robux and it makes you be able to do so much more. If you do not have the Multiple Floors Game Pass, you can actually build a two-story house even though it will be underground. But you can actually lower this and like create your house from here if you want that. So if you want a two-story house and you do not have money for the Multiple Floors, buy the Basement Game Pass and you can build two stories like that and it's only 100 robux so it's not the end of the world so i recommend that one if you have some robux to spare then same thing with employee excellent employee only do it if you're about to work a lot or about to level up in a job or want to level up faster and make more money so that you do not have to buy normal money as mentioned before because excellent employee makes you level up twice as fast which is amazing if you want to earn more quicker because the higher your level in your job the more you will earn for each task you do so at one point it's really easy to make a hundred thousand dollars in an hour and excellent employee just doubles the rate of you getting there so it's really something optional but it's useful to have oh my god guys i 
I forgot to mention something. I was like editing this video and I was like, where are the neighborhoods? So neighborhoods, I feel like if you have friends on Bloxburg, you could use their neighborhood. However, I would put it right under multiple floors. I think it's like right in the middle of importance, but I do think if your friend has a neighborhood, that's good enough. But buying a neighborhood, I think it's a thousand Robux for a year or a thousand and forty nine Robux for a year which is in my opinion worth it. You can set a time in your neighborhood so that's always daylight or always dark depending on what type of build you are doing. You can change the ground color which is also really really important and you can play alone. If you don't want to play with other people you can play alone so it's really up to you if you want that. If you're into role playing I would not recommend a neighborhood because well you're not gonna meet anyone to role play with and if you want to meet new people just go into public servers but honestly if you want to play alone if you want to change the ground color to match your build or whatever get a neighborhood neighborhood if you have spare robux that is so anyways i'm going to leave it at that <laughs> going back to the video <laughs> then moving on we go to blog bucks now blog bucks is a currency in blogsburg that can only be bought with robux or you need to do challenges or join daily so that after your seventh day you get some blog bucks there's some ways to get blog bucks but the best way is still buying it and i would recommend buying at least a little amount of blog bucks because going into the build mode category as you can see all of these purple items items are block box items. If you want something from there, you need a block box for that. For example, some special cars. Those are really cool, like the um, convertible right here. And then this blockster I use a lot. This go car is really good as well. But other than that, yes, like the jacuzzi and stuff like that, it's more of luxury items or bigger items than actually necessary items. For example, an ice cream machine or a popcorn machine is like something we don't have in the game unless you pay for it with block box. But again, it's optional. It's something if you really want it in your house then get some block bucks for example the garden sprinkler really helps for gardens so that your plants and your trees don't start to wither and stuff like that so it's really only just things that make the game a lot easier to play if that makes any sense then moving on we're almost there this is almost over because there's not so many things that you can buy also before i forget i do want to mention with the money you also need normal money to buy clothes in blocksburg you can actually buy clothes in blocksburg without spending your robux if you only play Bloxburg, I think that's really important to mention. Same with Blogbox, to be honest. So if you go to customize character and I go to my default outfit, and for example, uh, let's say I want a Valk. Oh, do they not have Valks? Okay, you know what? No, that's that's a bad example. Let's buy something cheaper. So for example, I see a hairstyle that I like on the catalog. For example, <laughs> this cottage maiden hair blonde. You copy the ID and then paste it into Roblox. So with a little plus. And I'm now wearing that hair. Why does why does it look so manly on me? Oh my goodness. But um, as you can see, you can choose to select it and then you buy it with the money that you have in Bloxburg. You can also buy it with Robux. So this hairstyle is 80 Robux. If I buy it in Bloxburg, I will get 20 Bloxburg for my purchase. So that's really important to keep in mind as well. If you want to spend your Robux on clothes, do it in Bloxburg. You will get free blog books for it. And I think it's very important to keep that in mind. Now, anyways, going back, we are almost at the most important thing. I think you already know what it is. But moving on, we go to multiple floors. I think multiple floors is one of these game passes that it's it's just a must have, in my opinion. It's like a game pass that is so common. And I don't know, like if you don't want to be stuck to building bungalows the rest of your life, the multiple floor game pass is really useful. As you can see, you can build up to five stories and then put a roof on top of that so if you don't have the basement game pass if you want to buy multiple floors I would definitely understand that I would not want to be stuck to building only bungalows my entire life and it also really limits your creativity so multiple floors game pass is a no-brainer for me if you have spare robux definitely get that one and then we go to my number one pick for 2022 probably for many years to come and that is advanced placing it is 200 robux but it is worth so much more from anything to resizing stuff and placing stuff inside each other or placing stuff against the wall for example one thing that that triggers me a lot without advanced placing is that you cannot do this. One second. Is that you cannot do this. Place your counters 
in the corner. With the advanced placement game pass, you can basically play stuff inside each other, resize things. Like there's a lot to resize in Welcome to Bloxburg. For example, windows. As you can see, I resized a normal window. It looks so much better already. And I don't know, it just looks so much better. Everything you do with advanced placing looks so much better. And like placing stuff into a corner. So for example, this right here, and you want to have it poke through the wall just a little bit. You can actually do that with advanced placing and so many hacks that you can do with basic shapes and everything. So stacking basic shapes on top of each other and just making your own kinds of playground in Welcome to Bloxburg, really playing around with everything. I think this is the game pass to get and it really opens up your creativity and just allows you to do so much more than what you can normally do in the game. And I think this game pass is such a no brainer that if you have 200 Robux, buy this. Honestly, you will not regret it. So I will now put three categories on the screen and one category will say no, one category will say maybe, and one category will say yes. The yes category is ones that I recommend completely without a doubt. The maybe category are ones that I recommend only if you do a certain type of gameplay. For example, normal money, I would only buy if I roleplay a lot. Working is not that hard, for example. And then no are just things that I do not recommend at all and are not worth the money, in my opinion. So again, this is all my opinion. If you have a different opinion, that is completely okay and I respect that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope this video helped you decide. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.